Yes, guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how to do some Etsy digital product research to find those fantastic nuggets, niches that you can get started selling, creating and selling those amazing digital products before they get saturated, guys. So, guys, check out the video. And also, if you do like videos on digital products, how to create, sell digital products and anything to do with digital products and all that fantastic, amazing passive income um then please hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell and don't forget to check out my playlist with lots of videos on product research um so let's go so what i like to do is let's look i'm on i'm on etsy right now and let me just show you how to do some really fantastic research guys i uh, i like to look let's just i just typed in digital products right at the minute digital products has a results amount so amount of sellers including ads of 92,000 plus right if i do a product in the dig if i do a type of digital product which is very popular called digital planners which you probably know um let me type in digital planner see what i like is um i use a software called et uh, sorry everbee <laughs> and everbee is amazing um do check it out the link in my description is absolutely free to free trial to try it out but what's really good is so i just typed in digital planner look it's telling me what the monthly searches are right straight away and you know when you do your research it's about niching down niche down so that you're able to find those really fantastic um ideas so for example look digital planner 2023 digital planner stickers right because stickers are quite popular Digital planner for iPad, good notes, and so on. Um, and then it niches down into a type of planner. And I've spoken about it in one of my videos, digital planner for ADHD, right? Um, a digital planner for Notion. So when you're actually, you, to actually, you know, get the sales that you need, because when you just type in digital planner, and if you just create a generic digital planner, you're not going to be seeing, guys. There's too much competition. And just check this out. Look, I'm just going to click uh search on digital planner and just look how many look at the results the results are absolutely ridiculous it's way too many look 400 let me just go down guys 480 thousand results i mean that is absolutely crazy that's crazy guys that's way too many like so to actually try to rank on this kind of keyword is nigh on impossible right there's no point, guys. There's no point. So what I like to do is I like to use Everbee because it does help me find those really fantastic gems. So I might just go to something. So I might go to product analytics, right? I want to look and check out product analytics. And then um, obviously, look, I mean, it's a lucrative market, guys. When I look at the monthly revenue, let me just uh, sort it by from highest. I mean, digital products can make up to forty thousand dollars a month it's massive and you know to be honest with you although you know look look at this listing this listing's only been up for two months only two months they put it up and it makes around forty thousand so it tells me that digital planners is still a good niche to get into however however to actually be seen and ranking for a new listing. Now, I'm sure that if I just go across here, this these guys have been around for, for a while. Actually, the shop age is even that old. Six months, the shop has been open, and they've only two months they've had this particular listing, guys, right? Um, I've seen this one before, right? This particular listing. And they've actually managed to sell over forty thousand dollars worth in one month, every month, guys, for the last two months that they've been open. All right, it's amazing. Right, it really is a fantastic product. So they are doing something right. So whatever be helps is you be able to just to see what they're ranking for, what are the tags. So for example, look, you can clearly see. 2023 digital planner has about a, a, a volume of 5,365 a month of people searching for it and clearly it's a trending keyword right so obviously they're ranking for that and it's a trending keyword another one is this which seems to be ranking and digital planner there is ranking so is what's not what i like about this seo software is that you can really like get into the tags you can see what people are doing to actually rank now 
coming back to what I've just said about digital planners. Yes, digital planners is a good a niche to get into. However, you have to niche down even further because especially as a new listing, if you're bringing out a new listing, you need to start looking at what, how you're going to rank your product. So, for example, I'll give you just a prime example. I'll give you a prime example, guys. Coming down to, for example, down the list, obviously I'm sticking to the main overarching uh, product of digital planners however i'm coming down to see if there's anything that is niche down so i've looked at this product here which says adhd digital planner now adhd the the type of adhd digital planner makes over seven thousand dollars right which is also pretty cool okay now i'm going to use this term adhd digital planner and i'm going to go back to the main search and just to see how much competition there is right because i think this is very important now, Digital Planner ADHD, right? If I clicked enter, I want it, I want it to give me less in terms of uh, results. Okay, so fantastic. This is fantastic. Now, I can see that the results is much less. 13,000 listings. Now, remember what Digital Planner was. It was 480,000. That was almost impossible if you wanted to bring a new listing and to rank yourself on those keywords. Now, I could possibly, anything under 20K results, I think is pretty good to be able to list and get yourself ranked on. Now, remember, this is this is a really good, see, so you can see the keyword, ADHD Digital Planner um, is the keyword in this case. And these are all digital planners to do with this, okay? Now, what I would then do is I'd go back to my product analytics and just double check and see if there is that still that demand in this kind of category. So I'm going to look at the revenue. I'm going to sort it by revenue, look at from the highest down to the lowest. Um, again, I'd need to make sure that it's under the ADHD. So like I said, you know, the first ADHD, if you like planner, you know, I think one that's making the most is 14,783 a month with a monthly sales of 650 units. So I can see that this one is, you know, this, this niche is good. I can make money on this niche. And then again, what I would do is I'll go further. I'll start analyzing, see what works with this one. What is it that is so good? How does it work? What kind of product is it? Let me see the images. Let's look at its, if you like, SEO score. Uh, well, let's look at its conversion rate. So, you know, you start analyzing. Let's look at the tags. So what's great about Everbee, I can see what the tags are. And, what it's, and you can see that the ADHD Digital Planner, which has 1848 volume or ADHD Journal or ADHD Planner. Look, these are ranking keywords. Look, they're going up. The graph is going up. So more and more people are searching for this ADHD Organizer. More and more people are searching for this ADHD Workbook. More and more people are searching for it. So... This looks like it's a trending niche, something to get into. It has a good volume. It has good amount of people. Now, when you add all of these volumes up, it's a very healthy volume amount. And it also shows me that there's not that much competition. The competition is still good enough to get in. And this is what I mean, guys. This is what you have to do. You have to analyze it. The average visibility score is really cool. And then I might just go over and look at what their description says. And you can see the keywords there, full of ADHD, ADHD Digital Planner, Self-Care and Habit Tracker. And then I might look at the listing itself and see what else they've done because obviously they're doing something really cool that, that people like. So I would look at that first image and you can see that they've done a few things here where they're telling you how many pages there are. And it's, it's like almost like a bundle, 240 pages based on science, growth mindset, digital planner. Um, they've got a fantastic little video, which, uh, which also shows what they have inside it. And I think videos are amazing. They go a long way to sell a product, guys. So fantastic video, really cool um, images very clear tells you what's inside what you get what it does for you how it helps you so guys you know and then i've got ever be which i can analyze the listing so guys this is just a very simple way very quick simple way that you can use to actually find those fantastic digital product niches so that you're able to rank and sell and like i said i definitely suggest just trying out ever be you know there's a free trial in the link in my description you can just check it out and see if it works for you but this is what I use and I think it's it really does cut out the speed in terms of like making much easier and quicker to find those nuggets out there. 
because as you kind of look around you'll see that more and more um uh, categories are getting saturated so it's very important to find those new categories that are coming out and to be able to get in there very quickly so guys i hope you like the video if you did like the video please hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell so you can get more videos in your feed all on digital products passive income how to create digital products how to sell them and so on and don't forget the videos that are coming up and don't forget the playlist and all the software and links that i all the software that i use for everything that i do and design uh, for digital products guys check it out and i'll see you in the next one